what is the role of amniocentesis in a healthy pregnancy? Welcome back to our channel where we provide valuable information for expecting parents. Today we will dive into the topic of amniocentesis which is an important prenatal diagnostic test. In this video, I will cover the role of amniocentesis in a healthy pregnancy. Why the procedure is done, what happens during the procedure, when it is performed and the complications you should be aware of. So let's get started. Amniocentesis is advised for pregnant women when there is a higher risk of genetic or chromosomal abnormalities suspected in the baby. Usually this procedure is advised when there are abnormal results in the pregnancy scan, double marker, quadruple marker, NIPT or when there is a family history of genetic condition. Amniocentesis is a medical procedure done to get a small sample of amniotic fluid surrounding the developing fetus in the uterus. This procedure is usually performed after the 16th week of pregnancy. The first step of the amniocentesis is to review relevant medical records and test reports, explain the procedure and potential risk to the couple and take consent for the amniocentesis procedure. In the next step, the radiologist will use ultrasound guidance to locate the position of the needle. Once the optimal spot is identified, a small dose of local anesthesia is given to numb the area. Then, the thin long needle is gently inserted through the mother's abdomen into the amniotic sac. After confirming the needle position, around 20 ml of amniotic fluid is withdrawn using a syringe, carefully avoiding contact with the fetus. Then the needle is removed and a small bandage is placed over the puncture site. After the procedure, the amniotic fluid is sent to the laboratory for further analysis like fish, karyotyping, microarray test, etc. Depending upon the problem suspected in the unborn baby, the lab test can provide vital information on chromosomal abnormalities, genetic disorders, neural tube defects and certain metabolic conditions. After the procedure, the mother is observed for a few minutes and if necessary, TT and progesterone injections are administered to the mother. The lab results usually take about 4 to 15 days depending upon the type of test advised. Amniocentesis is a relatively safe procedure. However, some complications can occur rarely like miscarriage and preterm delivery which can be 1 in 1000 procedures. The procedure related complications depend on the expertise of the doctor. Remember, this test is an important tool providing valuable information about your baby's health. We hope this video had provided a good understanding of amniocentesis. You can send questions in the comment section and subscribe for more informative content.